What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be going up to Vance's to pick up my Ruger 556. I bought it over a month ago and when I was like you know testing it out in the range it was messing up badly. It was trying to load two bullets into the chamber. Sometimes it wasn't loading a bullet into the chamber at all. I didn't know what was going on. So Vance's looked at it. They didn't know what was going on. So we just decided to send it back to Ruger because I bought it you know, just recently. So Ruger finally found out what the problem was. Come to find out, as you can see from a pop-up right here, it was the bolt carrier. So apparently it's been tested and it worked without any malfunctions. And Vance has called and said it's ready. So I'm going to be going over there, picking it up, taking it to the range and fingers crossed. Hopefully this does work. While I'm there, I'm going to be looking around at some like optics and red dots and all that. Not sure what I'm going to pick up. So stay tuned to see which one I pick up for the AR, and let's go. All right, here we are. So let's go ahead, pick up my gun, and have some fun. I know I'm stupid. I don't care. But point me. Now, before I go into this gun and the red dot, I just want to let you know nothing in there. It's empty. But I don't want to put the mag in there because it does have bullets in it. And the Ruger SR9, this one, this one's cleared. Magazine's right here. Just letting you know because safety first. I don't play around when it comes to safety and guns. You you pretend that every gun you hold is loaded. That's the way I've been told, so I'm going to go ahead and teach that to everyone else. So, when it comes to the Ruger 5.56, it did suck that I ended up getting the one out of the bad bunch, but I don't care. They fixed it. Man, is it fun to shoot. I went through about 100 rounds. Not one single malfunction. They did fix it 100%. No malfunctions, everything was fine and great. They got it all cleaned and lubed up for me, ready to go. This gun, if you are looking into getting your first AR-15 like me, I would suggest looking into this one because now that they fixed it, it's a perfect gun to shoot at the range. I'm not looking in to an AR-15 for home defense because I got a gun for home defense and this ain't it. I was wanting one for the range only, something to just have fun. They suggested this one and I'm happy with it. So if you're looking into a cheap AR-15, I think it's like 519, 516 right now. It's on sale and that's what I paid for. It was about 519. Can't remember what the sale price is right now, but it's like, I think 690 off sale. So look into it while you can, have fun with it. Now, let's talk about the Vortex Crossfire. Now, I was looking into the Romeo 5 SIG and the guy behind the counter was telling me, don't get that. So he took me over to the Vortex selection and he said, trust me, get this one. I thought he was looking for like, you know, extra cash in the cash register or something. It was cheaper, better. He said the quality is amazing along with the warranty. I didn't read it in the book yet, but he said it has a lifetime warranty, so keep the receipt in it. So while I was looking at the Romeo 5, really wanting that one, I said, well, what's the difference? He said the sale, the quality's up there with the SIG. And right now, I don't know if it's gonna go on for a while, so you might wanna jump on this. I would highly suggest this red dot. It suffered through all the recoils, didn't malfunction. It goes all the way up to 11 on the brightness. Really great red dot. 
I paid before taxes $94.99 and it's on sale right now 55 bucks off and that brung the total after taxes $102.11 and a save of 55 bucks. So it was about slightly more than the Romeo 5 when it's not on sale. So I was happy he suggested this one. Perfect red dot. None of this is sponsored, by the way. I paid for everything myself. So I would suggest if you're looking into a good quality red dot and you're not wanting to spend over 100 bucks right now, look into this. Get it right now because it's a great quality one, like I said. And yes, I had to zero it in. I don't know about you, but it was about maybe three inches down and about a couple inches to the left. It's really easy to zero in on the target. It just, you got the screw on the top and on the right, and it came with the knobs in the box right now, and I didn't put them back on. It's about maybe a hair off. I ran out of time. We only did a half hour at the range. But overall, I love this red dot. It's perfect for this gun. I love it, love it, love it. I can't thank that guy enough for suggesting it because it, it saved me money. On top of that, it, I could buy more bullets. Rock on. So overall, I am extremely happy with this gun, with the red dot. So if you're looking into this gun, I would give two thumbs up on it. I'm not a good reviewer when it comes to guns. I just like talking about them. I love shooting them. They're just fun. So if you've never shot a gun before, if you can, go just go shoot one. It's a blast. By the second bullet, you're going to be hooked. Trust me, that's the way it is with everyone, it seems. So overall, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Sorry if it sounded like I rambled on. Like I said, I get excited when I talk about things like Halloween, Blu-ray movies, and guns. I just ramble on and... You know, it just sucks that I can't talk to you in person and we can go fire these guns off in person. But hey, if you live in Columbus and you want to meet up and go shoot some rounds at Vance's or at Shoot Point Blank in Grove City, let me know because I'm like really, really close to Grove City. So just let me know in the comments below, what do you have in your like AR-15 choices and what is your favorite gun? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Check you later.